to be in the house of the Lord today and to study this wonderful lesson. And we are going to a new lesson. And our new lesson is called The Great Controversy. And uh, you know what that is. This book was written by Ellen G. White way back to encourage us and to let us know what the, the cosmic problem is in the world that we are facing. And we are facing a warfare. And this lesson t is telling us where the war started. But before we get into this lesson, we are going to invite you to pray with us this morning. We have a wonderful family in the house this morning, and they are visiting with us. And uh, her name is Nawa, and their mother name is Maria. And uh, what's your other sister name? Yeah. Adriana. And we are going to invite them just to come up a little bit with us, just right in the front. And I'm going to invite you, and we're going to give you the mic, and uh, we are going to have a special prayer for you all this morning. And I'm going to call a couple of elders. I know they are working hard to get things going. And we are going to call a couple of elders to come and join with us, and we are going to have a very special prayer this morning. This is Sabbath School, and we, those online who are joining us this morning, we just want to say thank you for being in line with us. And this morning, a church that prays means that we stick together. This morning is a wonderful family coming here this morning. And the, what we are going through, our sister Marianne is going to tell us what we are praying for this morning. Happy Sabbath to each and one of y'all this morning. And we're here today because we have a petition. We have, my, listen, my words are not as yeah. good when it comes to English um, expressing it. But yeah. we want to pray this morning for Luis. He was here last Sabbath, and they were sitting right there. He participated on the lecture, too. And um, we want to pray he had an accident. The God already made giving, is making a miracle. He gave him his life. Yes. He's yes. still with us. And we know that if he let him be with us, he's going to complete what he started. Amen. So we're asking prayers for Luis Garcia yeah. and his family. And um, the Clarence, do not go away. Come here one minute. Yeah, go ahead. Um, so we want to pray for the family. Okay. Please. So later... As we go on with our service, we are going to call you again to come and we are going to have the whole church when it's all filled up to have a very special prayer of anointing. Amen. And this morning, before we start this Sabbath school lesson, it's so important to pray for the family. I believe in prayer and Amen. God changes things. Yes. And if we put our problem to the Lord, he will hear us. King Jesus is always listening Amen. to hear sinners pray. And when there is a situation that we are going through, we just need to lift up our friends, our church brothers, and the, those loved ones that we love in prayer. So as uh, Elder, Karen, Elder Clarence. Clarence, as you come forward, and those who are coming, let's make a circle right here as close as we can. And we just Elder going to Clarence. want you, here's Elder Clarence, are you right there? Right. And uh, we are online, and we, those who are online listening us, to us this morning, we want you to pray with us. This is a dangerous accident, and the accident had really, really crippled my brother Louis and Garcia. And we know that God is able. If you believe that God is able, let's amen. say amen. 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 And I'm going to ask Elder Clarence. Uh, Elder Clarence, just come here and offer a special prayer of healing right now for Luis Garcia. Right. And this is on part of the Sabbath school. We are going to pray. We are many. And uh, if you can come on up, Brother Matthews, you are welcome to come on up. And we are going to put the family. Come right here in the middle a little bit. Come in the yeah. Yeah, make, we come in the middle while the members make a circle. Yes. Amen. Yes, come on in. Right. We're going to circle. Yes, yeah, here you go. 
I know the camera is trying to catch as much as we can, but we know that God is able. Amen. If you believe God is able, say, God is able. He is able. able, and he will do the impossible. Yes, he will. Yes, yes. yes. He will. It's a warfare we are fighting today, my brethren and sisters. Yes. yes. Hello. Clarence, could you just pray for Luis Garcia right now? Uh, Father in heaven, oh God, we pause this morning in our Sabbath school. We know that you are God and you, you said come into your house on the Sabbath day. Yes. And we are here to worship you. But yes. Lord, we got a situation and we got a family here, oh God, who are hurting. They're in the need of prayer, oh God. Yes. For the last week, we had a wonderful program here. We had a wonderful Sabbath school. Amen. And I remember talking to Brother Louis Garcia personally mm -hmm. because he made his contribution. I told him when he, got, when he get home, he can um, go back to the program on YouTube and on Facebook at Mount Homer, and you'll be able to see his contribution that he has made in Sabbath school. Amen. Amen. Lord, I'm a bit shocked this morning. I know the enemy is busy mm. trying, oh God, to destroy family, especially, oh God, young people that are standing for you. Yes. Amen. Yes. Yes. Amen. But the devil, oh God, is a liar. Yes. yes, he is. And we present, oh God, Brother Garcia, before you now. Yes, Amen. Father. Amen. First of all, O oh God, we ask that you'll forgive him for every sin and that you'll cleanse him from all unrighteousness. Amen. 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 We ask that even now, O oh God, that you'll send your Holy Spirit. Amen. Yes, yes. That you may touch him, O oh God, with your healing hands. Yes, please, Father. We know, Lord, that the doctors are saying one thing, but Father, you are yes. the great physician. Yes. You are Amen. the one that made him, yes. and you are the Amen. one, O oh God, that can bring Amen. restoration and healing. Amen. Amen. We ask, O oh God, that you will come for this family at this time. Yes. Help them to continue to put their trust in you as they pray and they seek your face. Yes. And we know, God, at the end that everything will be well. Amen. Yes. Have mercy upon us all, too, we pray. Yes. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 All right. Amen. God bless you all. Yes. God, God bless you all. Yes. God bless you all. Yes. Have faith. Have yes. faith. Have faith. Have faith. God is able. Yes, God is able. Yes. It went through his back and came up to, by his air aorta. We had looked at him. Thought I was going to lose him. But there is a God in heaven. And he answers prayers. And I will tell you, I will make a promise to you. That I will be on bended knees praying Amen. for him. Amen. Because I know what God can do. Yes. Amen. Amen. So hang in there. God bless you. God keep you strong. Because he's able. the enemy is busy. And he's only here to destroy. Yes, he did. He came here three weeks after he was shot. And he stood right here. So I can tell you. Yes. I can tell you. Yes. I had given up, we'd given up for dead. Yes. But God is God. Yes. Amen. And he said he knew him before he entered his mother's womb. Yes. And that's what we have to, un that's what we have to believe in Amen. and hold on to. Because God is God. There's nothing better. Nothing better. Thank you, Elder Chris. Thank, thank you, you thank Deacon you. Chris. Thank you thank much. You. Thank you for the encouragement this morning. And uh, I hope you're online this morning. I've been praying, praying for Garcia. He's 22 years old, and uh, it is a really, really terrible accident. And uh, he was on his motorcycle, and a truck, a semi-truck hits him. And uh, we believe that God kept him for a purpose. He should not be alive now, and God kept him. But you know, this lesson this morning is about warfare and uh, the war begins all wars and uh, God is telling us that we should not give up we are on lesson one this morning first time to start this new lesson and we hope this morning 
that you have got a, a book this morning, or you go online and you can find this lesson calling The War Behind All Wars, and it's the great controversy. We want to welcome Sister Jenny with us, Jennifer Samuels. We are very happy to have you this morning. And we are going to study this wonderful lesson with our groups that are here this morning. Amen. And um, as blessing. we study. It's a blessing to be here. And uh, I just thank God that he was able to preserve me through this week. Hallelujah. And bring me to Sabbath school. Amen. Okay. So it's a blessing to be here. Thank, thank you, you, Elder. And as we look at this lesson, we are going to go straight to the wonderful lesson that is lined up for us this morning. And it talked that there was war in heaven. And we looked at in Revelation chapter 12, 7 to 8, we find out that God did not make Satan. And we are going to find out that in Revelation 7, Revelation 12, 7 and 8, there is a text that is given which we call our memory verse. And could you share that text with us this morning if you have it? Sure. Um, it's the memory text is found in Revelation 12, 7 through 8. And war broke out in heaven. Michael and his angels fought with the dragon. And the dragon and his angels fought. But they did not prevail. Nor was a place found for them in heaven any longer. Amen. 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 You need to say amen for that because... God had prevailed. The Bible tells us that there was what? War. war. Today we are having a lot of war going on, right? All over the world. You have war in Israel. You have war in Ukraine. You have war in some part of Africa. And war everywhere you go, even in our church, there's war. All around us, there's war. Who is angry? You have to talk to me this morning. Who is angry? All right. Someone said that Satan is angry. And there's another name that the Bible mentioned here in Revelation 12, 7 and 8. This name, he, he was called. We have just read that. What was the name he was called in heaven? Lucifer. Lucifer. But the text is telling us that... The dragon. Look at that. There's so many names that this man had. Or this devil had. He got plenty names. And this one here they call it Revelation. He said to us, John is telling us that he was called the dragon. So, so we're looking at how many names? So you have Lucifer. Because that was the bright morning star, right? Good name. That was the, that good, was the name. good name. Yes. Right? Yes. So he... So, the heavenly name. So he went from Lucifer to Satan, from Satan to that dragon, the dragon, the great dragon. Great. And then yes. he went from the great dragon. There's another name. The devil. The devil. The devil. Yeah. And and who else? There was one another name. <laughs> the father of many is a liar. Probably. Yes, he's a great liar. He's a great liar. And we find out that one of the things we find out that God is a good God. God Amen. is so good. Why is he, this world so bad if God is so good? Why is it? There is sin. And who caused sin? If you have your hand, just put it up. Put the, it up and the, mic, the, the mic to you. Here and we go. We, we, Here we go. Yes. Because of sin. And the devil caused sin. Yes. And God gave us a choice to choose between the devil and him. Amen. That is absolutely right. God gave us a good plan, but we're not following it. Whoa. Yes. And that's what he's helping us to follow. The plan, because he have a great plan for all of us. And imagine, his plan was formed when? The plan was formed before the foundation of the world. Amen. Before the foundation of the world. Amen. And yes. the, the next question for you, how can a God so loving allow evil to exist? How can a God so loving 
allow evil to exist. Anyone? Over, over that side, we need someone else with a mic over between the middle and over there. Brother but Barrels, you got to put on your tennis shoes. <laughs> yes, <laughs> go ahead. Well, we have to understand something that to begin with, God is love. Yes. And when he created everything, including the angels and us, we were created out of love and in love. Now, if you love someone and you want them to love you in return, you cannot force them to love you. And so God gave each and every one of us the ability to make our own decisions of how we feel about him. Yes. And he did not uh, force the angels or Lucifer or anyone else in heaven to accept his love. You know, it's kind of funny when I, when I said that, I think about us sometimes with our children and friends. You cannot make someone you can call your friend, but they may not be your friend, huh? Uh -huh. <laughs> and you cannot force someone to love you in the same manner that you love them. And so this is the same thing with God. So God gave everyone the right to make the choice of whether you accept his love as a pure love or do you want to have your love as you see it in your eyes. That is powerful. That's, that is very good. That is good. powerful. We, you know, once uh, someone told me that when you're navigating in this world, mm -hmm. you have to know who your allies are. That is so right. You cannot so be right. fooled. You have to know who your allies yeah. are in mm -hmm. order to be successful and to live a peaceful yeah. life. Um, so God we gives us ample opportunity yeah. to let us know that he loves us and he cares for us and he has made provision for us and it's just up to us to accept it. Oh. And this is Thank one you. of the questions. And, uh, and, and also, that is, in a word, the great mystery. That's the great mystery and the great, the great controversy. Uh, you know, and he'll explain it. I like the, way, the, like the way it was put in there. It has to do with free choice. And it's sort of just like to me, I, t I like to think of it as just like a bed to say, well, look, we could be, the, we could be robots, you know, or we can just, he can finally show us and it take us these thousands of years for him to finally show us that no, we can't do it by ourselves. It could be Amen. just as simple as that. They say, did you see how you guys did it? Did you see all those wars and everything you had? You know, all your awards and Nobel Prizes and everything. Where did he get you? you wow. that, that kind of reminds yeah. me of the subject of faith. You know, our faith. Do we trust him? And this is a you good know? question that I was going to that I'm going to ask this morning. Because as I look at uh, the, my good friend, Sister Nawa, this morning, and uh, the question she have in her mind, but she have strong faith in the Lord. And the question is right here in the lesson. And it said, why do good things happen to good people? Or why does bad things happen to good people? And that's the question this morning. Her boyfriend is a good guy. And why him? Why he's traveling, going to work, or wherever he was going, that a tractor trailer have to come and hit him? This is the question. But I'm going to tell you that the devil, it, and that's what it said, there is war in heaven. The devil gets angry, and he is trying to take out God's children. Once you start to serve the Lord and you love the Lord, the devil is very, very upset. And he said, hey, I'm not going to allow you to serve God. Either you serve me, I'm going to take you out. But God is a good God that will not let that happen. Yeah. And in 1 John 4, 7 and 8, 1 John 4, 7 and 8, God is a God of incredible love. Yeah. He is the very nature of love. And if someone have that text, John 1, 1 John 4, 7 and 8. Yeah. If you're not there, okay, go ahead, my sister. First John 4, verses 7 to 8. Beloved, let us love one another, for love is of God. And everyone that loves is born of God and knows God. And he that loves not knows not God, for God is love. Amen. 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 What assurance, what assurance this morning to let us know that you are God, beloved. 
and, God, and Satan don't love you. I'm telling you straight up here. Satan does not love none of us. He talks, we talk. He's a good looking creature or good looking whatever he is. He's a created being. Satan only loved himself. And he is trying to be like God himself. He wants to rule the universe. But God is not allowing him to do it. God is going to deliver us. So beloved, let us know that God is love. So as you study this lesson this morning, let's keep in your heart knowing that God is your lover. He loves us with an everlasting love. Anyone who does not love God is a liar. The truth is not in them. So let us love him with all our heart. Yes, my sister. I was going to, I was listening to, um, uh, I think it was, yeah, Great Controversy. And I was um, listening to it. And it said that God pleaded with Satan, with Lucifer, so many times. He had, you know, mercy on him. He was, he was trying to get him to see his errors. So God, um, he deals with us long. He doesn't just say no. No, he deals with us. Yes. You know, he's, yes. he's. He's so loving that he really truly cares for us. And he cares for us because he made us in his image and in his likeness. And that's how deep God loves us. And, he, and, he, and he, he's constantly trying to get us to turn around and come to him. He's constantly trying to tell us, I love you. Don't, you. don't you see it? I love you. I gave you life. I gave you breath. Don't you see it? You know, I gave you my son. Yes. He hung on the cross. He, make, yes. he dropped great drops of blood for you. Don't you see it? Don't you see it? Don't you care? So God really does love us. Thank you for making such a great yes. emphasis on that. And uh, as you open your Bible to Ezekiel chapter 12 and verse 15. Ezekiel chapter 12 and 15. We are 20. Do Ezekiel 28, 12 to 15. Whoever have that, just be quick with your Bibles. And there's a hand over there, Steve. Who is ready to read that for us? Go ahead, my sister. <clears throat> Ezekiel 28, 12 to 15. Son of man, take up a lamentation upon the king of Tyrus and say unto him, Thus saith the Lord God, Thou sealest up the sum full of wisdom and perfect in beauty. Thou hast been in Eden, the garden of God. Every precious stone was thy covering, the sardius, topaz, and the diamond, the beryl, the onyx, and the jasper, the sapphire, the emerald, and the carbuncle, and gold. The workmanship of thy tablets and of thy pipes was prepared in thee in the day that was created. Thou art the anointed cherub that covereth, and I have set thee so. Thou wast upon the holy mountain of God. Thou hast walked up and down in the midst of the stones of fire. Thou was perfect in thy ways from the days that thou was created till iniquity was found in thee. Wow. You see, God made a perfect Lucifer. You heard that from the Bible just this morning, that God made a perfect Lucifer. And it said Lucifer was what? Perfect in his ways. So God did not make a Lucifer that was not perfect. I see my... Sister, hand is up this And what I wanted to add to that, too, is that um, we were saying before and talking about war in heaven that um, Lucifer wanted to, to be like God, but it's more that he wanted to have his position but not his character. Because That's if correct. he had wanted to have God's character, he would have eternal life like anyone does who follows Christ. But he just wanted the position without having the, the heart of God. And that's why eventually he'll be destroyed. Right. Powerful. Powerful. Did he get a chance to, to get that? No. God had to do what with him. Toss him out of heaven. Yep. And, the, and with a third of the angels. All right. We're going to get deep into that. She's, <laughs> she, she's really telling us the real thing. One third of the <coughs> angel came along with him when he was thrown out from heaven. Yes, Elder Steve. We, you know, we, we fall under this myth that Satan is some evil, ugly, gross-looking creature. If you saw Satan 
If you saw Lucifer, you'd be in love. <laughs> yes. Not, he not only is beautiful because he was created beautiful, but he knows exactly what you like. Yes. He and he makes his... sure that he appeared to be the most beautiful creature, yeah. guy or girl you ever thought of. But what does the Bible say? They speak not according to the word. Amen. There's no, no truth no. in them. Right. And, and as beautiful as he was in the Garden of Eden, if he had not spoken against God's direction, they would have had reason to listen to him. Yes. But he spoke against. He said, no, you, you should not surely die. You ever seen anyone die yet? No, and they hadn't. <laughs> yeah. he, he really, truly did question yeah. God's power and authority and created doubt in the minds of, of the angels. And so can you imagine being created, created oh, perfect mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and having, he persuaded everyone, yes, you did. know, he, he persuaded a third of the angels mm -hmm. to doubt God. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine just a little seed of doubt? Oh, my goodness. So I, I am just so God, uh, glad. Bro brother, sister, God. and teacher, I got a question for you. Yes, go ahead. God says, I know everything from the beginning to the end. Yes. yes. The mystery of the universe is God knew that Satan was going to fall yes. because he said he knows everything. Yes, he sure did. And, yeah. you know, I, I equate that to my father here. He always said, boy, I know what you're going to do before <laughs> you did it. Yes. I know you. You know, and I yeah. can remember as a little boy, I said, man, how did dad know that? But, but he knew it because he knew me. Yeah. Ah. He knew me. I didn't know me, but he knew me. Ah. And, and, and the mystery of the universe, I've, I've always said that there was a reason why God created Lucifer. There was a reason. We don't know where in that secession Lucifer was created in the Bible. We don't know. But God had to create him to show what sin really was. Yeah. And that is, the, that is one of the mysteries of the universe that we won't know until we see our Heavenly Father face to face. Right. And that's the plan. We plan to see him face to face. If you go to with me this morning... To the book of Isaiah, I'm going to straighten a little bit what you're saying. Isaiah chapter 14, 12 to 14. Isaiah chapter 14. How are you falling from heaven? Anybody is there? I'll give you a chance to do that for me. Go ahead. Um, it says, how are you, <clears throat> how you are falling from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How are you? How you are cut down to the ground. You who weaken the nation, for you have said in your heart, I will ascend into heaven and I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will also sit on the mount of the congregation on the furthest side of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the most high. Right. Wow. That's powerful words of the devil. He was cast out of heaven straight down on planet Earth. And my sister. On, on the last paragraph on my, uh, Sunday, it says uh, the heavenly councils pleaded with Lucifer. The son of God presented before him the greatness and goodness and the justice of the creator. <clears throat> I think that's what we were talking about about the justice of the creator and that's why God created us from the beginning not forcing us to do things his way like robots mm -hmm. but he wanted to create us as beings that we could make a choice between good and evil mm -hmm. but Satan took the evil part of it and and he ran with it 
But we have to remember, even though he only took one third of the angels with him, three thirds are with God. And when we're in trouble and we need help, because he said when Jesus came and he died for us, he is right there when we're ready to fall into temptation and to sin to help us and keep us from falling. So we have that choice, and we can remember that God is always with us. All we have to do is reach out and call out for him. Amen. 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 And also to strengthen what Brother, St Brother Matthews was saying a while ago about Satan. Satan, or Lucifer, was before the foundation of the planet Earth. He was there in heaven. And uh, we don't know how long he was there in heaven. Because the planet keep on, the, our time keep on going. For God, a thousand years like yesterday, you know, is a day in his sight. And uh, Satan have been, the, Lucifer have been there way back, way back. So when the plan was made, God know in his heart what he was going to do. He started to rebel. Rebellion means evil. Rebellion means you are going to destroy whatever in your way. There is no way of stopping what you want to do. They p God plead with him. God spent time with him, talk with him. But guess what? He wants to be like what? The most high. And because he wants to be like the most high, he decided, I, I am not going to surrender. So what he did, he swept with him one third of the heavenly being angels that was in heaven. You talk about topaz. You talk about all this precious stone that you heard earlier in the lesson. How Satan was like all those beautiful diamonds. And then he comes here and he entices us on planet earth with still these diamonds. And sometimes we put the diamonds in front of God. But God is telling us, thou shall not do what? Have any what? Honor go other gods before him. Mm -hmm. Yes. Can I say something? Can I, I've been having my hand up for a while. I'm on the point. Yeah. Just one, one at a time. Put your hands up and yes. we can. Yes, go ahead. Um, it's interesting to me that a third were swept from heaven. And what's promised is just like a, a third down here. I believe only, only a third of of, of the saints even are is promised meets, meets the standard and then also there's such a reward for doing it the devil's way an earthly way <laughs> for, through mammon you know you have people powerful people who literally really do worship in high places the devil they yes. literally worship it and you have the CERN program that's that's you know that's that everybody should really look into and theoretically on the eighth they supposed to they supposed to do something with the uh, with that machine, and and it's very fearful. You need to look into it. It's not a funny thing because it opens up portals. The whole purpose of doing that. Well, brother, we'll have to talk about that on offline. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Go ahead, Jane. Yes, my friend. Brother but um, you're going back to the when most high. God the Father created Satan, he knew created what he was Lucifer. creating. Yes. Lucifer. Lucifer. All yes. right. Mm -hmm. He knew who he was creating. Yes. Okay? Yes. We just want when, those online to make sure uh, that we but are But when right. he looked down through the quarters of time and see the chaos that this man was going to cause, I have oftentimes asked myself this question, why did he, God the Father, allow this man to prevail or to go on Very as long question. as he did? Yeah. Right. You see? But uh, I understand that he has to do that to show who he was, yes. who God the Father He's is. a just God. He's you a see? kind He's God. He's a just God. Yes. So we understand that. But sometimes I can't mm -hmm. help myself sometimes from asking this question. Yeah, that's a very I, good question. You, you, you talk about war. I have been in war. I have been in the Vietnam War. I've seen what happened. Mm. I know what happened. Yes. 
Yes. And I have to ask myself this question, why did he allow this man? And I know that he's a loving God. I know all of this. But to get myself to understand the reason why, really, he allowed this man to continue to destroy what he has created. It's mind-boggling. I'm going to go on with my, what my father said. You know, there was a time in my life that I was running amok. And, you know, I hate to say this, but God had to put me on a bed of affliction with six strokes in 24 hours that I should not be here. This man was right there with me through thick and thin. I don't remember saying this, but I said I'll be walking out of here in four days. Guess what? I walked out in four days. But God had to put me on a bed of affliction to let me know who he is. And, and as I say all the time, I said there, is a, there was a reason why. It is a mystery why God created Satan. But that reason we won't know until we get to, to heaven. Amen. But, Amen. but it's going to be a beautiful reason why he did it. Yes. yes, there have been lives destroyed and lives lost. But you know what? Every life that's lost, I believe that God sheds a tear. Because that is one of his children. Just like when, my fa when I was stroking, my father was crying. It is the same thing because it's out of love that he cried. For his children. Amen. Amen. Sister Alney and then Sister Cynthia. Um, <clears throat> it's not something pleasant for us to think about, but a lot of times it's easy to look at it's easy to look at Satan or anyone in the character who's in a uh, anyone in the Bible who's in a villain position and think of us as being better than them, but the potential for any of us to have been Satan is there. Any yeah. one of us with a sinful human nature could have, yeah. is capable now even of very great yeah. evil if the Holy Spirit is not restraining us. Yeah. And so sometimes um, we have to wonder why does God allow evil to exist? Why does he allow us to exist? That uh -oh. evil could be uh -oh. in me. Yeah. Uh -oh. Because he loves us, he allows it to take its course, but he also promised the day is going to come where he's going to end it and there will be no more tears, no, no. more death. Right. right? So it's, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a very fearful thing where we hear about murders and wars and we're like, oh, that's terrible that they could do that. We could do it. Amen. If we don't have Christ in us, we are able of very, very great evil. And so God in his mercy, we, we ought to be grateful to him that he even allows us to live another minute, to be able to repent, to be able to cling to him, to be able to turn from whatever wickedness we have in us. Yes. Because if he were to wipe it out now, we could be part of that wiping out. Amen. 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 Very strong sister testimony. Cynthia. Yes, sister. So God, God had to allow the course to, to continue. See, he just didn't have Lucifer and the third to, to continue with. He had all the other planets and the rest of the angels to, to look at. Now, the angels most likely probably had a question. You know, God could kick them out? You know, why, why? Maybe they didn't understand it. So God has to let the play continue. Yep. He has to allow Satan to be shown. When Satan put Christ on that cross, the angels were like, oh, shoot, I'm going back up here to God because God was right. Because <laughs> God was right. He put our... our our, our, our king on a cross yes. to die. So they, they, those angels knew. Now maybe some more angels didn't still get it all. So God has to let that play out. Yes. He has to in order for all the angels in the other worlds to see what sin really does. Amen. It destroys. Satan came here to kill, steal, and to destroy. Yes. This is why we have so many different uh, denominations, people believe in all kinds of stuff because Satan has come here and spread his seeds all over this world. People think right. they this is right, that's right, this is right. But the only thing I have ever learned as being a Seventh-day Adventist Christian, that God is right. Amen. 
And that's it. Amen. God is right. And that's it. And so we have to get on that road where we trust in God, not man, not this, not that, but trust that God knows what, he, what he's doing because he created us. Again, I'm going to say it. He created us in his image and in his likeness. He didn't, he, we're, we're preach like him. So preach. he loved us so much that he sent his son down here yes. to die for each and right. every last one of us. And not one of us, not one of us in this world can pay the price for one drop of blood that Jesus shed for us. Amen. So the best Amen. thing to do is trust in God and go forward. And if you got an answer, you got a question. Some questions is only be answered when we get there. Amen. So let's just hold those questions. And when we get there, we can sit down with the Father. We can sit down with our statement and say, what was this? And he'll give us the answer because amen. he already knows. Thank amen. You. amen. Thank you. Yes, Everybody is filled with the spirit this morning and they understand what God meant to us. And Revelation, I, I'm going to let you say, go there a I'll little say bit. One quick go second, ahead. One yes. quick second. I, and I appreciate Sister Sin, Cynthia. Oh, my goodness. Every one of you um, just uh, nailed it. You nailed it. Um, and, and just that sure did. That sure it, did. It, it just yes. reminds me that that's God had to have sin Ooh, run you. its thank course. You. Yes. God, in his infinite wisdom and, and mercy, mercy and let love. sin and love, yes. let sin run, run its, its course. course, even though he had to put his son on the cross. Isn't that, isn't that yeah. think about that love. Revol and that way, there would be no question to us here on earth, to the angels in heaven and every universe, right? Yes. That God is the God of all, that he is our sovereign God, you know? Yes, I mean, he's perfect, no yes, so, that he is a so fear thank God. Thank you, yes, thank you. Oh, my God. goodness, powerful, powerful. I, I love that when you, when you talk about God's fairness because his judgment, he's fair. Yes. And, and when he judges us, Everyone will say, mm, that's right. <laughs> John the Revelator put it this way, Steve. John the Revelator in verse in Revelation 12 and verse 10 to 11. I know we just have few, a little time left, but this is exciting. And I think someone had read that, but could you read verse 10 and 11? And you can see how God conquered. Yeah, Revelation 12, 10 to 11. Revelation 12. I think someone had read it earlier. Anybody have it? Revelation 12, 10 through 11. Here we go. Raise your yeah. hand. Tennis shoes. Tennis shoes. Yes. No, she, has, she, 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 she can't talk. And there is no question about how we overcame God by the blood of the Lamb. The loud voice in heaven okay. is reading. Right That's here. Your right hand here, is right, right here. here. Right there. Loud and clear, sis. Loud and clear. <laughs> through 11? Yes. It says, then I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, mm -hmm. now salvation and strength, and in the kingdom of our God, and the power of his, Christ, of his Christ have come for the accuser of our brethren mm -hmm. who accused them before our God, day and night, has been cast down. Yes. Mm -hmm. And they overcame by him the blood of the lamb Amen. and the word of their testimony. Yes. And they did not love their, li their lives to the death. Amen. Oh God. Amen. You see Amen. what's happened? Or over God have overcame the devil by what? The blood of the lamb. Amen. And we are very thankful for he came to die for us so that we can have a chance. Satan have no chance. He will be thrown in the lake of fire at the end of time. So we give God praises. We are sorry we have to stop our lesson at this time, but we have a little time for our 13th Sabbath program. Thank you. That was to be held last week. And the early teens are the young people is coming up to shine for us this oh, morning. Right now? Yes. Okay. Okay, young people, young your time. Okay, great. So here's the mic. Here's the mic right here. Good morning, happy Sabbath. So this is a part of our youth group. Um, I'm very proud of them. Last 
quarter, they did study David and David's relationship with Saul and David's relationship with Jonathan. So they're going to give an overview of a couple of verses that they read that were key to them, as well as some key um, messages as well. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are, oh wait. <laughs> For you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. During Youth Day, we talked about fear, reconciliation, and jealousy based off of 1 Samuel 18, 19, and 24. We titled this David on the Run because it was based off of the fact that David was always running from King Saul. We talked about the importance of friends and family who are there for you, forgiveness and reconciliation. We also talked about how revenge we also talked about revenge and how God will have his vengeance. So encourage each other and build each other up just as you are already doing. First Thessalonians five eleven. Um, in Youth Day, we talked about Jonathan and David's relationship. Jonathan and David had a special bond. They helped each other go spiritually closer to God and loved each other like brothers. When King Saul started to become jealous of David, Jonathan had to choose between his best friend or his father. The stress that Jonathan felt must have been great. Who should he be loyal to? Ultimately, he chose David because he knew that God was with him and that it was the right thing to do. God blesses those who patiently endure testing and temptation. Afterward, they will receive the crown of life that God has promised to those who loved him. And that's James 1, verse 12. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. That is so powerful. Put your hands together. For those online who is watching this morning, this is our early teens or young people for today. Thank you, teachers, for what you have done this morning to let them so brave to come before us this morning and to let us know that God is able to deliver. Don't care what you've been through, God will deliver you. God, war in heaven is going to be over one day. Are you looking for that blessed day when Jesus will come in the clouds of heaven? Let's hope for that day. May God bless you. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks for your wonderful love towards us and for giving us a chance to talk about your plan of salvation. Bless us today. And don't forget to remember Garcia this morning and his sick bed. And as we worship today, may your name be glorified. Amen. And for those online, we just want you to go online and look for us. Way to give. Several ways to give. Online, and you can just go right there to the website. And give us an offering for Sabbath school. Later we'll talk about divine hour. But for now, focus on Sabbath school. We bless you and we thank you for joining us this morning. On behalf of Sister Jenny and myself, the Samuels, we say goodbye. God bless you. Amen. Amen.